service of CNC Worldwide. The Daily Podcast is a service of CNC News made possible by the Greece Chamber of Commerce, providing more than 800 members with business solutions since 1984. We have a lot to cover since the last 24 hours, so let's uh, get right to it, and we'll even have to skip over a couple of things. Right now, it's the calm before the storm. The National Weather Service has all western, central, and northern New York under a winter storm warning. For Rochester and the Finger Lakes region, this is from 4 o'clock Tuesday afternoon through 1 Thursday morning. The intense storm approaching from the west will bring a total of 6 inches to a foot of snow, 2 to 4 inches Tuesday night, the same again during the day Wednesday, another 2 to 4 inches Wednesday night, and by the time it passes, could be, as we said, a foot of snow. Winds will curve from the north around the low, blowing 15 to 25, causing blowing and drifting snow. Thanksgiving highway travel will be very difficult, and the Weather Service says this will be the heavy, wet-type snow, the hard-to-shovel stuff. Media reports say Monroe County Sheriff Patrick O'Flynn asked for a 27% raise that County Executive Maggie Brooks included in her 2014 budget. The proposed raise to $174,000 a year for the freshly re-elected sheriff has the Democrats on the county legislature up to the boiling point. They call the $37,000 raise brain dead and note that a lot of the people they represent don't even make $37,000 a year. Democrats want the sheriff to come before the legislature's Ways and Means Committee this week to answer questions about the raise. A Quinnipiac University poll says Governor Andrew Cuomo ends the year with his popularity back up again. As 2014 and election year approaches, the governor's favorability rating, according to Quinnipiac, is back at 62 to 25 percent. That compares with 53 to 30 percent approval back in June after the New York Safe Gun Control Act. The poll finds Cuomo's approval is up in every region of New York, highest in New York City, 71 percent there, 62 percent favorable in the New York City suburbs, 53 percent favorable upstate where opposition to NY Safe is still the most active. Governor Cuomo has even regained some popularity with Republicans. Putting Cuomo against a possible Republican challenger, Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino, the governor leads 56 to 25 percent statewide. He's ahead right now with every group except Republicans. They say Astorino by 62 to 23 percent. Funeral services are today, Tuesday, in Olean for State Trooper Ross Riley, killed last week in a training accident. Trooper Riley fell 30 feet from a rock ledge in Letchworth State Park somehow during a rescue exercise. That's still under investigation. Family, friends, and other troopers stood in line to pay their respects during calling hours Monday. The service is Tuesday afternoon at St. Bonaventure University. It is a sad week at that campus between Trooper Riley's memorial and the loss of a sophomore found dead after he vanished while walking back to the campus Friday night. The Rochester youth may have died of exposure, but the investigation has yet to determine that for sure. U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer says the new owners of Bausch & Lomb have committed to manufacturing Zeus, Bausch & Lomb's next-generation contact lens, here in Rochester. Valiant Pharmaceuticals was planning to go for full-scale manufacture of the Zeus lens in Ireland. Schumer lobbied hard to have it made locally. Bausch & Lomb already had the pilot production line set up here. Schumer lobbied personally with Valiant CEO Michael Pearson. The Fairport man accused of causing that fatal crash last weekend on I-490 has pleaded not guilty to vehicular manslaughter and other charges in Rochester City Court. State police say 30-year-old Robert Rector was drunk and driving the wrong way on the interstate early Saturday. His car smashed head-on into an SUV driven by Kajia McKenzie of Gates. Rescuers got that 19-year-old woman out of the overturned vehicle, rushed her to Strong Hospital, but she died there of her injuries. New Yorkers are up for Thanksgiving this year, more so than in the past five years, according to a poll from the Siena Research Institute. Siena poll finds just over half of us, 51 percent, plan to spend more than $500 on Christmas gifts this year. Nearly two-thirds will do at least some online shopping, a sharp increase from 56 percent a year ago. Siena Research Director Don Levy says the shopping season should run equal to last year's. Fewer people say they're planning to spend less than they did last year. Only a handful plan to spend more. Last week, a Wayne County deputy ticketed a Penfield woman for stealing a yard sign that called for a repeal of the New York SAFE Act, the, the anti-gun law. 
We noted it at the time, but according to the Democrat and Chronicle, it turns out there was a lot more than one missing sign involved. Pediatrician Dr. Anna Marie Contour was ticketed for petty larceny after a homeowner saw her swiping his anti-gun control sign on Thursday. A deputy tracked the Penfield doctor back to her office in Williamson and there found five repeal the SAFE Act signs in a dumpster. Dr. Contour was issued a ticket and told to answer in Williamson Town Court on January 15th. Wayne County Sheriff Barry Vertz says better to put up your own sign and exercise your own First Amendment rights than to try and take somebody else's. Well, that's the lot. If you're on CNC News Pages, uh, to the left of the player window, you'll find links to these and other stories. And at the bottom of the page, links you can use to send news directly to us. Next podcast is when you download and listen to it, and uh, the next news updates are as they happen. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.